Hi guys. In this video, we're going to demonstrate to you the benefits and reasons why we may want to link our account to a third party verification website such as MyFXbook. Firstly, I'm going to open a new account on MT4. We've seen this process before. Very simply, file, open an account, choose the demo option in this case, and fill in some basic details. Um, just going to go for a US dollar standard account, 10K. Leverage 1 to 200, tick the box and click next. Now we've received certain login credentials and this is what we're going to need to input into my effects book for them to be able to track our performance. I'm going to very briefly copy paste these details into my notepad because I'll need them very shortly. Okay, once that's done, we can click finish and we're now in the new account that we've just opened. If you open a browser and go to the website www.myfxbook.com, you'll need to begin by opening an account. The process is really straightforward and won't take long at all. Just type in a username, I'm just going to call myself. and an email address. My Facebook is then going to send you um, login details, which is what we're going to need to complete this process. Okay, it says here now account created successfully, please check your email for the activation link. We'll then be required to log into our emails. And very self-explanatory would hopefully see an email provided by my effects book, which we have here. I'm going to click this link to activate our account. Perfect. Now to add our trading account to my effects book, the process is about a 10 step process, but it's very, very straightforward. Um, and the benefits from, from, from doing this is vast. And I'll be able to demonstrate that to you very shortly. If you go to portfolio and add account, and then add account just here on the bottom right. We'll have to input a few details. Um, first of all, our platform is going to be MT4 MetaTrader 4, and we're going to go for the auto update option, which means that it will automatically update our trading stats and, and positions onto my effects book. I'm going to call this account name September 2018. What's important to remember is that with different brokers, um, they sometimes restrict the amount of days a demo account can be open for. So with AxiTrader, who's my broker, um, each demo account will only be valued for 30 days. Um, all this means is that after that period, you won't be able to log in to your account and therefore you'd have to open a new account and then relink that trading account to my FX book. And that's why I've labeled it September 2018 and next month I can then do it for October going forward. Obviously this isn't the case with a live account, just with demo accounts. My broker, I have a selection to choose from and obviously I'm currently with AxiTrader, so AXI, you can see it appears just down here. My server, this is where some people get um, caught out occasionally, my server is going to be the one that's detailed at the top of my platform screen, so up here you can see AxiTrader US03 demo, that's the name of my server. So I go back here and click the 03 demo option. Account number, well these are the details that I took note of earlier on. So the account number is the first one. And the investor password would be the third number. Okay, so the middle one here, that was our password, but we need the investor password. And I'm then gonna create an account. To link the account, it does take a couple of minutes, so be patient with it. It's very important to be critical of your own performance, and therefore linking your account to tools like MyFXbook becomes imperative for your, for your progress. Um, our account has now been added successfully, 
and I can take myself to my account here by clicking this this link here and you can see that it demonstrates to me the account that's just been opened obviously I've got 0% gains with my $10,000 um, account. The multiple accounts that I may add to my portfolio going forward will all be listed here under portfolio you can see I'm in September 2018 and I can add as many as I wish and they'll all sort of rack up under this icon. Scrolling down we'll be able to see a wide range of um, different options in terms of summary performance, um, hourly performance, my history of positions etc and we'll shortly be explaining what all these icons mean.